endless reaches of the universe, there once existed a planet known as Krypton, a planet that burned like a green star in the distant heavens. There, civilization was far advanced and had brought forth a race of supermen whose mental and physical powers were developed to the absolute peak of human perfection. But there came a day when giant quakes threatened to destroy Krypton forever. One of the planet's leading scientists, sensing the approach of doom, placed his infant son in a small rocket ship and sent it hurtling in the direction of the Earth just as Krypton exploded. The rocket ship sped through star-studded space, landing safely on Earth with its precious burden, Krypton's sole survivor. A passing motorist found the uninjured child and took it to an orphanage. As the years went by and the child grew to maturity, he found himself possessed of amazing physical powers. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. The infant of Krypton is now the man of steel. Superman! To best be in a position to use his amazing powers in a never-ending battle for true justice, Superman has assumed the skies of Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper. Kent, I want to see you. Just received another threatening note. Okay, Mr. White. Lois, another note from the mad scientist. Coming in, Chief. Now listen to this warning. He plans to strike tonight. Beware, you fools. My electrothanasia ray strikes tonight at 12. Total destruction will come to those who laughed at me and failed to heed my warning. Beware. I strike at midnight. This nut may prove dangerous. Kent, you help Lois follow up her lead. She may have an angle on this thing. Yes, sir. But, Chief, I'd like the chance to crack the story on my own. Well, no. Thanks, Chief. But, Lois... Chief, don't you think that's a dangerous mission? Reporter for the So you want a story? I'll give you the greatest story of destruction the world has ever known.
Now is that for a story, Miss Lane? <laughs> to his threat, the mad scientist, whose warnings have held the city in a grip of terror, went on his rampage of destruction on the stroke of midnight. The deadly impact of his mysterious ray smashed the famous Tower Bridge, hurling cars and pedestrians into the river below. The police have warned everyone to remain in their homes. This looks like a job for Superman. Congratulations, Lois. That was a great scoop. Yes, Chief. Thanks to Superman.
limitless reaches of the universe, there once existed a planet known as Krypton, a planet that burned like a green star in the distant heavens. There, civilization was far advanced and had brought forth a race of supermen whose mental and physical powers were developed to the absolute peak of human perfection. But there came a day when giant quakes threatened to destroy Krypton forever. One of the planet's leading scientists, sensing the approach of doom, placed his infant son in a small rocket ship and sent it hurtling in the direction of the Earth just as Krypton exploded. The rocket ship sped through star-studded space, landing safely on Earth with a bound, the infant of Crypt survivor. A passing motorist found the uninjured child and took it to an orphanage. As the years went by and the child grew to maturity, he found himself possessed of amazing physical powers. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, the infant of Scripton is now the man of steel, Superman. To best be in a position to use his amazing powers in a never-ending battle for true justice, Superman has assumed the skies of Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper. Lois, what are you doing here? Oh, just getting the woman's angle on this story. The mechanical monster! Look out! this in. Yes, I'll give you the details later, Chief. All right, Lois. Let Lois! for Superman.
story this is going to make. The jewels. What have you done with the jewels? You'll read about it in tomorrow's paper. Are you going to tell me what happened to those jewels? <laughs> She's doomed. That's a wonderful story, Lois. Thanks, Clark, but I owe it all to Superman. than a speeding bullet. 
more powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, the infant of Krypton is now the man of steel, Superman! To best be in a position to use his amazing powers in a never-ending battle for truth and justice, Superman has assumed the disguise of Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper. I can't go with you, Lois, but I have another story to cover. Oh, that's all right, Clark. I'll see you in the office. Like a job for Superman.
funny how Superman turns up just when you need him. I didn't even get a chance to thank him. than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Penetrating deep into the frozen wastes of the great Arctic plains, an archaeological expedition searching for prehistoric fossils makes an amazing discovery. A huge monster, as lifelike in appearance as when it roamed the Earth millions of years ago in the Mesozoic Age, is found frozen in the ice in a state of perfect preservation. Constantly handicapped by the hazardous sub-zero elements, the scientists and their band of tireless workers succeed in removing the mammoth creature from the frozen pit. The ice-encased monster is loaded into the hold of a huge freighter equipped with a special refrigeration plant and brought to this country. Here, in a specially constructed wing of the Museum of Natural Science, this awe-inspiring creature is displayed to the public for the first time. say that if the ice were permitted to thaw, there's a possibility the monster might still be alive? Thank you, Professor. Yes, Chief. Lois, there's a new angle on that frozen monster story. Get over to the museum and see what's doing. They've got him in a special refrigerator. Okay, Chief. Oh, Lois, want me to go over there with you? No, thanks. You'd probably faint if you saw the monster. You scare so easily. Maybe she's right, but Superman hasn't fainted yet. And produces the necessary refrigeration. The control board is downstairs. I'll show it. The entire plant is operated from this board. The thermometer must be watched constantly as any rise in temperature might prove dangerous. Boy, what a story! Everybody, step lively, please. Use the nearest exit. Please, folks, keep moving. We have to clear this room at once. That's what he thinks. Police headquarters. Hello, Chief. Send the riot squad. We're in trouble. Give 
Give me the city desk. Hurry! <gasps> is in the museum. Better get over there, Kent. Right. This looks like a job for Superman. where you'll be safe. I've got some work to do. Yes, sir. And this the best story in years? Slow chance. Courage getting that monster story, Lois. Thanks, but where were you? Me? Oh, I must have fainted. than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent.
Send in Lois Lane and Clark Kent. Give me a follow-up on this bullet car story. Attention. The destruction of your police station at A was only a small demonstration of our power. Unless your mayor turns over the entire funds of the city treasury, power plants, firehouses, and all municipal buildings will be next. Take heed. This is your last warning. What are the authorities going to do about this, Mr. Mayor? We won't be intimidated by criminal threats. Law and order must and will prevail. This looks like a job for Superman.
nice going, Lois. Another great scoop for you. It was easy. Thanks to Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. The infant of Scripton is now the man of steel. Superman! Who best be in a position to use his amazing powers in a never-ending battle for truth and justice, Superman has assumed the disguise of Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper. think of the professor's show now? I still think it's pretty dangerous business. Hope nothing goes wrong. gentlemen, that the safety of the public is of special import to you. Perhaps almost as important to you as my ambitions are to me. But you request that I give up my experiments, experiments which are the combination of 30 years of dreaming and planning is impossible. Tonight, those dreams will become real. The Comet of Falcon will be my toy. Under my control, it will be brought to within a mile of us. Then, after a close examination, I'll send it back again into space. Your tampering with nature endangers thousands of lives. Yes, and even at the possible cost of those lives, I shall continue my experiment. I warn you, Professor, we're prepared to stop you. And I warn you, sir, any interference may prove disastrous. Stop! <laughs> City editor. Look, Chief, the panic's on. The thing's gone haywire. Lois. 
Lois, what happened? Lois! Control. Pretty wonderful yourself. Oh, how did you get here? <laughs> Thanks to Superman. than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent.
And I still say Manhattan rightfully belongs to my people. Possibly, but just what do you expect us to do about it? You have a newspaper? Publish the truth. Have the island vacated immediately. It's fantastic. Why, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous? Maybe modern science will make you think differently. <laughs> I've never heard anything so absurd. You know, from the look in his eyes, I'd almost believe he was in earnest. No, he's just a harmless crank. Come ahead, Miss Lane. You wouldn't want to miss this story, I'm sure. Cautionary measure. Get ready for the greatest story of your career. Come on, Kent. Let's get out of here. This looks like a job for Superman.
girl is still down there. looks just as good as ever. That's right, Clark. Thanks to Superman. This peaceful island, crowned by the great volcano Mount Mauna Koa, occurred the mightiest eruption that ever shook the earth, burying the beautiful city beneath it in molten lava and creating destructive tidal waves that raced around the world. For 300 years, this mighty volcano lay dormant. A new and more beautiful city sprang up at its base. But now, after centuries of inactivity, slight tremors are being felt. At the Bureau of Meteorology, a group of scientists watchfully check delicate instruments to determine the seriousness of this renewed activity. I want you to send me some real stories. Now, here are your steamship tickets, and here are your press passes. You'll need these down there. Goodbye, good luck, and for Pete's sake, see if you two can work together for a change. Right, Chief. So long. Say, Lois, do you have my press pass? What makes you think I've got it? Sorry, sir, but you'll have to get one down at headquarters. Thanks. Uh, you go on ahead, Lois, and I'll join you later. Now, what did I do with that? Poor Clark. Too bad he lost his pass. <laughs> Thank you. 
and from all indications, we can expect things to start popping at any time. In order to save the city, we've decided to blast the higher rim of the crater, thereby diverting the flow of lava away from the city and into the ocean below. Is the chief in? I'd like to see him about a press pass. He'll be back shortly. Won't you have a seat? Thanks. Wait here. Hello? Hello? Send up that car in a hurry. Hello? 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 Miss Lane? like a job for Superman. How's the story coming, Lois? Oh, fine, Clark. Too bad you weren't in on it. Maybe I would have been if I hadn't lost my past.
able to soar higher than any plane, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Circus. What an assignment. Yeah, too bad, Lois. Looks like a great night for a murder or fire or something. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Step right up and get That's your cue, Lois. The show is about to start. Only a few minutes before the performance begins. So oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs>
This is a job for Superman. gets her story. And luckily, she lives to write it. Thanks to Superman, 